Do you know how history has shaped the world we live in today? Welcome to History Forge, where we explore the fascinating events, cultures, and innovations that have forged humanity's path through time. Join us on an epic journey to uncover the past and its lasting impact on our future. Part 1 – The Origins of Tool Use in Early Humans The story of human evolution is inextricably linked to the development and use of tools. Without tools, early humans would not have been able to survive and thrive in the diverse environments they encountered. The very first tools, crafted millions of years ago, were simple yet revolutionary implements that transformed the course of human history. These tools allowed early hominins to manipulate their environment in ways that no other species could. Understanding the origins of tool use is key to comprehending how early humans adapted to and altered their surroundings. The earliest evidence of tool use by hominins dates back approximately 3.3 million years. This discovery was made at the Lomekwi 3 site in Kenya, where archaeologists uncovered stone tools attributed to early species such as Australopithex. These tools were simple and crude, often just broken rocks with sharp edges. However, the significance of these tools cannot be overstated. The creation of a sharp edge by striking one stone against another allowed early humans to cut, scrape, and process a wide range of materials, from animal carcasses to plant fibers, while other animals, such as chimpanzees, are known to use objects in their environment as tools, human tool use quickly surpassed anything seen in the animal kingdom. The key difference lies in intentionality. Early humans did not simply pick up objects they found and use them as tools, they actively modified those objects to suit their needs. This leap from opportunistic use to purposeful creation marked the dawn of human ingenuity. It was the first step on the long road to modern technology. One of the earliest known users of tools was Homo habili, a species that lived around 2.5 million years ago. Nicknamed Handy Man because of their association with the earliest toolmaking activities, Homo habili is believed to have been the creator of the Oldo and tool industry. Oldo and tools were simple but effective, consisting mainly of flakes chipped off from a larger stone core. These flakes were used for cutting meat, slicing plant matter, and even cracking open bones to access nutrient-rich marrow. The introduction of tools into the lives of early humans had far-reaching consequences. Tools allowed early humans to access a broader range of resources, which in turn supported the development of larger brains and more complex social structures. The use of tools to process meat, for example, provided early humans with more protein and calories, which are essential for brain growth. Additionally, tools enabled early humans to exploit new ecological niches, giving them a survival advantage over other species that were confined to more specialized diets or habitats. As early humans evolved, so too did their tools. The tools of Homo habili were simple and unspecialized, but they paved the way for more advanced technologies in later species. For instance, Homo erectus, which appeared around 1.9 million years ago, is associated with the Acheulean tool culture, characterized by the creation of more complex and specialized implements such as hand axes. These tools represent a significant cognitive leap, as they required a greater understanding of materials and a higher level of planning and foresight. The importance of tool use in early human evolution cannot be overstated. It is through tools that early humans were able to manipulate their environment and secure the resources they needed to survive. Tool use also fostered the development of social cooperation and communication, as individuals needed to share knowledge and techniques for making and using tools. Moreover, the act of making tools itself likely spurred the development of cognitive abilities such as problem-solving, spatial reasoning, and abstract thinking. The origins of tool use are deeply intertwined with the evolution of bipedalism, another key feature that distinguishes humans from other primates. Walking on two legs freed up the hands for toolmaking and carrying objects, which in turn created new opportunities for early humans to interact with their environment. The ability to carry tools and other resources over long distances allowed early humans to expand their range and adapt to a wider variety of habitats. Over time, this adaptability became one of the defining traits of the human species. In conclusion, the origins of tool use in early humans mark the beginning of a transformative journey that would ultimately lead to the complex technological societies we live in today. The simple stone tools made by species like Homo habili may seem primitive by modern standards. 
but they represent a monumental step in the evolution of human ingenuity and adaptability. These early tools allowed our ancestors to exploit new resources, build social connections, and develop the cognitive abilities that would set them apart from all other species. As we move forward in this exploration of ancient tools, we will see how each new technological innovation built upon the last, driving human evolution and shaping the course of history. Part 2, Oldo and Tools, The First Technology Around 2.6 million years ago, the Oldo and Tool industry emerged, representing the first major leap in human technology. This early tool culture, named after the Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania, is primarily associated with Homo habili, although other species, such as Paranthropus and early Homo erectus, may have also used these tools. The Oldo and Toolkit is characterized by simple stone flakes and cores, created by striking one rock against another to produce a sharp edge. While the technology behind these tools was basic, their impact on early human life was profound. The simplicity of Oldo and tools belies their versatility. The sharp-edged flakes produced through this process were used for a variety of tasks, including cutting meat, scraping hides, and chopping plants. Early humans could also use the larger core stones as hammer stones, pounding objects to break them open or to shape other tools. These tools were crucial for survival, allowing early humans to process food more efficiently and to exploit a wider range of resources than they could with their bare hands alone. Oldo and tools are often described as opportunistic. Early humans would select stones from their environment and modify them on the spot to meet their immediate needs. This contrasts with later tool cultures, where individuals might transport raw materials over long distances or spend considerable time shaping a tool before using it. In this sense, Oldo and tools reflect a more immediate and adaptive approach to toolmaking. Early humans were not yet thinking about creating standardized or long-lasting tools, they were simply making do with what they had in the moment. However, even at this early stage, there are signs of intentionality in the way Oldo and tools were made. Archaeologists have found evidence that early humans selected specific types of stones for toolmaking, favoring materials that were hard and durable enough to produce sharp edges. This suggests that early toolmakers were beginning to understand the properties of different materials and were making choices based on this knowledge. In addition, the process of striking a stone to produce a flake requires a certain level of skill and precision, indicating that early humans were developing the cognitive abilities needed to manipulate objects in a purposeful way. The widespread use of Oldo and tools across Africa suggests that they were a key part of early human survival strategies. Sites containing Oldo and tools have been found from East Africa to South Africa, indicating that early humans were able to adapt to a variety of environments using these simple implements. The ability to process food more efficiently would have allowed early humans to exploit new ecological niches, giving them a competitive advantage over other species. In particular, Oldo and tools likely played a crucial role in the shift from a primarily plant-based diet to one that included more animal protein. One of the most significant consequences of Oldo and tool use was its impact on early human nutrition. The sharp-edged flakes created by striking stones together allowed early humans to cut through tough animal hides and butcher carcasses more efficiently. This, in turn, gave them access to meat and marrow, both of which are rich in nutrients that are essential for brain development. Some researchers have argued that the introduction of meat into the diet may have been a key factor in the evolution of larger brains in early humans. The ability to process and consume more calorie-dense foods would have supported the energy demands of a growing brain, allowing early humans to develop greater cognitive abilities over time. The impact of Oldo and tools on social life is also worth considering. The making and using of tools likely required a certain level of cooperation and communication among early humans. Sharing knowledge about which stones to use, how to strike them, and what tasks the tools could perform would have fostered social bonds and the exchange of information. This, in turn, may have contributed to the development of more complex social structures and the emergence of cultural traditions. Toolmaking and tool use could have become a way for early humans to signal their skills and knowledge to others, perhaps influencing social hierarchies or mating choices. Despite their simplicity, Oldo and tools represent a major milestone in the history of human technology. They mark the beginning of a long tradition of toolmaking that would continue to evolve over millions of years, eventually leading to the highly specialized and complex technologies we have today. 
The ability to create and use tools is one of the defining characteristics of the human species, and the old Owen tool culture provides the first clear evidence of this capability. As we move forward in our exploration of ancient tools, we will see how each new technological innovation built upon the last, driving human evolution and shaping the course of history. Part 3, Acheulean Tools, The Hand Axe Revolution Around 1.7 million years ago, a new tool culture emerged that would revolutionize human technology. This was the Acheulean tool culture, named after the Saint-Acheul archaeological site in France where some of the first examples were discovered. Acheulean tools are most closely associated with Homo erectus, though later species, including Homo heidelbergensis and even early Homo sapiens, also used them. The hallmark of Acheulean technology is the hand axe, a large, teardrop-shaped tool with a sharp edge that could be used for a variety of purposes. The development of the hand axe represented a significant leap in both cognitive ability and technical skill. Hand axes were far more complex and standardized than the simple flake tools of the Oldowan tradition. While Oldowan tools were often created quickly for immediate use, Acheulean hand axes required planning and skill to produce. They were crafted by carefully shaping a coarse stone, flaking it on both sides to create a symmetrical, bifacial tool. This process required the toolmaker to envision the final shape of the tool before they began working on it, a level of foresight that suggests a more advanced cognitive capacity than that seen in earlier tool cultures. The versatility of the hand axe made it a crucial tool for early human survival. It could be used for a wide range of tasks, including cutting meat, scraping hides, digging for tubers, and even chopping wood. This adaptability allowed early humans to thrive in diverse environments, from the savannas of Africa to the forests and plains of Europe and Asia. The widespread distribution of Acheulean tools suggests that Homo erectus and other early humans carrying these tools were able to migrate out of Africa and successfully colonize new regions. In fact, Acheulean tools have been found as far afield as the Indian subcontinent and East Asia, a testament to the mobility and adaptability of the species that use them. The hand axe also represents an important step in the evolution of human social behavior. Unlike Oldo and tools, which were often discarded after use, Acheulean hand axes were more durable and could be carried for long periods. This suggests that early humans may have begun to place more value on their tools, perhaps even viewing them as personal possessions. Moreover, the process of making a hand axe was likely a social activity, with individuals sharing knowledge and techniques within their communities. The ability to pass down this knowledge from generation to generation may have helped to solidify social bonds and foster cooperation among early humans. There is also evidence that Acheulean hand axes may have held symbolic meaning for early humans. Some hand axes are larger and more finely crafted than would be necessary for practical use, leading some researchers to speculate that they may have been used for display purposes, perhaps as a way for individuals to signal their skill or status within the group. The production of symmetrical and aesthetically pleasing tools could indicate an early form of symbolic thinking, a cognitive trait that would later become central to human culture and art. While it is impossible to know for sure what these early humans thought about their tools, the care and craftsmanship that went into making some Acheulean hand axes suggests that they may have been valued for more than just their utility. The Acheulean tool culture persisted for an astonishingly long time, spanning over a million years. This long period of technological stability suggests that the hand axe and other Acheulean tools were highly effective for the needs of early humans. However, over time, new innovations would emerge, and the Acheulean tradition would eventually give way to more specialized tool cultures. By the time Homo sapiens appeared on the scene around 300,000 years ago, the Acheulean hand axe had begun to be replaced by more refined tools, but its legacy remained. The hand axe represents a key moment in the evolution of human technology, one that would have lasting effects on the development of later tools and technologies, the cognitive and motor skills required to produce an Acheulean hand axe were considerable. Toolmakers needed to carefully select the right type of stone, often choosing materials like flint or quartzite that could be flaked to produce sharp edges. They also needed to master the technique of striking the stone with controlled force to shape it into the desired form. This level of precision in toolmaking likely reflected a broader set of cognitive skills, including problem-solving, spatial reasoning, and the ability to plan for the future. These skills would have been crucial not just for toolmaking but for other aspects of survival, such as hunting, gathering, and social organization. 
one of the most remarkable aspects of the Acheulean tradition is its geographical spread. Acheulean tools have been found in Africa, Europe, and Asia, indicating that early humans were highly mobile and capable of adapting to a wide range of environments. This ability to spread out and colonize new areas was likely facilitated by the versatility of Acheulean tools, which could be used in different types of landscapes and climates. The presence of Acheulean tools in places like India and China suggests that early humans were capable of long-distance migrations, potentially following game or searching for new resources. These migrations would have played a key role in the eventual spread of human populations across the globe. The Acheulean tool culture represents one of the longest-lasting technological traditions in human history. It is a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of early humans that this tool culture persisted for so long and spread so widely. The hand axe, with its simple yet effective design, was a crucial tool for survival, allowing early humans to process food, gather resources, and defend themselves in an often hostile world. As we move forward in our exploration of ancient tools, we will see how later innovations built upon the foundation laid by the Acheulean tradition, driving human evolution and shaping the course of history. Part 4 the role of fire, a tool of a different kind. While most people think of tools as physical objects like stone axes or spears, fire stands out as one of the most important and transformative tools in human history. Fire is not a tool in the conventional sense, but its mastery was a pivotal moment in human evolution, fundamentally changing how early humans lived, ate, and interacted with their environment. The control of fire allowed early humans to cook food, provide warmth, protect themselves from predators, and extend their activities into the night. It also had profound effects on social behavior and cognitive development, fostering greater communication and cooperation among groups of early humans. Fire's role as a transformative tool cannot be overstated, and its mastery marks one of the most significant milestones in human evolution. The earliest evidence of fire use by hominins dates back approximately one million years. Archaeological sites such as Wonderwork Cave in South Africa provide evidence of controlled fire use by Homo erectus, who likely learned to harness naturally occurring fires caused by lightning strikes or wildfires. These early humans may have initially used fire for warmth and protection, but over time, they began to experiment with cooking food over the flames. Cooking was a game-changer for human evolution because it allowed early humans to extract more calories and nutrients from food, particularly meat. This increased caloric intake likely supported the growth of larger brains, which required a significant amount of energy to function properly. The ability to cook food also reduced the time and energy spent on chewing and digestion. Raw meat and plant matter require a lot of chewing and can be difficult to digest, but cooking breaks down tough fibers and proteins, making food softer and easier to consume. This change in diet may have had a significant impact on human physiology. As early humans began eating more cooked food, they may have experienced changes in jaw and tooth size, as well as reductions in the size of their digestive tracts. These physiological adaptations would have further facilitated brain growth, as energy could be diverted from digestion to support cognitive development. Fire also played a critical role in expanding the geographical range of early humans. With the ability to generate warmth, early humans could move into colder environments that would have otherwise been uninhabitable. This allowed species like Homo erectus and later Homo sapiens to migrate out of Africa and into regions with harsher climates, such as Europe and Asia. The presence of fire enabled them to survive cold winters, protect themselves from predators, and cook the food they hunted or gathered. Fire provided a kind of portable habitat, allowing early humans to adapt to a wide range of environments and thrive in diverse ecological conditions. Beyond its practical uses, fire also had a profound impact on social life. The control of fire likely gave rise to the concept of the hearth, a central gathering place where early humans could come together to share food, warmth, and stories. This social aspect of fire use may have been crucial in the development of more complex communication and language. As early humans gathered around the fire, they would have had the opportunity to exchange ideas, pass down knowledge, and strengthen social bonds. The ability to communicate more effectively and cooperate with others likely played a key role in the survival and success of early human communities. Fire also had a significant impact on the development of tools. Once early humans learned to control fire, they could use it to modify and improve their tools. For example, fire was used to harden wooden spear points, making them more durable and effective for hunting. 
Later, the ability to control high temperatures would lead to the development of metalworking, allowing humans to create stronger and more versatile tools. The mastery of fire thus opened the door to a wide range of technological innovations that would have far-reaching effects on human societies. In addition to its practical and social uses, fire likely had symbolic and cultural significance for early humans. Many cultures around the world have myths and legends about the discovery of fire, often portraying it as a gift from the gods or a powerful force to be respected. The control of fire may have been seen as a sign of mastery over nature, a reflection of humanity's growing ability to shape the environment to suit their needs. Fire rituals, such as those associated with cooking or cremation, may have played an important role in the development of early religious or spiritual practices. As we move forward in our exploration of ancient tools, it is important to recognize that fire was not just a practical tool, it was also a source of meaning and identity for early human communities. The ability to harness fire had far-reaching consequences for human evolution. By enabling early humans to cook food, fire provided a reliable source of energy that supported brain growth and cognitive development. It allowed humans to migrate into new and colder environments, expanding their range and increasing their chances of survival. Fire also fostered social interaction and cooperation, creating spaces for early humans to come together and share knowledge. The mastery of fire even influenced toolmaking, leading to innovations such as the hardening of wooden tools and, later, metalworking. The control of fire marks a turning point in the history of human evolution, one that set the stage for many of the technological and social advancements that followed. It is no coincidence that the use of fire is often seen as a defining characteristic of human beings. While other animals may use simple tools, none have mastered fire in the way that humans have. Fire is a unique and powerful tool, one that shaped not only the physical development of early humans but also their social and cultural lives. It was a tool of survival, a tool of transformation, and a tool of connection. As we continue our exploration of ancient tools, it is important to recognize the central role that fire played in shaping early human life. Without fire, many of the technological, social, and cultural developments that followed would not have been possible. The control of fire represents a key moment in human history, one that allowed our ancestors to transcend the limitations of their environment and take control of their destiny. Fire was not just a tool, it was a catalyst for human evolution. As we move forward to examine other technological innovations, we will see how the mastery of fire laid the groundwork for even more advanced tools and technologies. Part 5, The Mousterian Industry, A New Level of Specialization By around 300,000 years ago, a new tool culture emerged that signified a major advancement in the way early humans interacted with their environment. This tool culture, known as the Mousterian, was primarily associated with the Neanderthals, although early Homo sapiens also adopted it. The Mousterian industry marks a significant departure from earlier tool traditions, such as the Acheulean, due to its focus on creating more specialized and efficient tools. The sophistication of Mousterian tools reflects a new level of cognitive development in early humans, highlighting their ability to plan, adapt, and innovate based on the specific needs of their environment. The hallmark of Mousterian tools was their diversity and specialization. Unlike earlier tools, which were often multifunctional and somewhat generalized, Mousterian tools were crafted with specific tasks in mind. The toolkit included a variety of tools, such as scrapers for preparing animal hides, points for hunting, and blades for cutting and processing materials. Each tool had a distinct purpose, and this specialization suggests that early humans were developing a deeper understanding of their environment and how to exploit it more efficiently. This level of technological advancement required more refined craftsmanship and a greater cognitive investment in the toolmaking process. One of the key innovations of the Mousterian industry was the development of prepared core technology. This method involved carefully shaping a stone core before striking off flakes to create tools with predetermined shapes. By preparing the core in advance, toolmakers could produce sharper, more consistent flakes that were well suited to specific tasks. This technique represented a leap forward in both cognitive ability and technical skill. It required the toolmaker to anticipate the final form of the tool before the napping process even began, reflecting a higher level of planning and foresight than seen in earlier tool cultures. 
the use of prepared core technology also suggests that Mousterian toolmakers were more efficient in their use of raw materials. By carefully managing the shape of the core, they could produce more tools from a single piece of stone, reducing waste and maximizing the utility of the available resources. This level of efficiency may have been particularly important for Neanderthals, who lived in colder, harsher environments where resources were often scarce. The ability to make the most of limited materials would have been a critical survival skill, allowing Neanderthals to thrive in regions that would have been challenging for earlier human species. Mousterian tools were often made from high-quality flint, a material that could be shaped into sharp, durable edges. The selection of flint as the preferred material for toolmaking indicates that early humans were not only skilled in their craft but also knowledgeable about the properties of different types of stone. Flint was particularly well-suited for making sharp tools because it could be flaked with precision, producing thin, sharp edges that were ideal for tasks such as cutting meat, scraping hides, and shaping wood. This attention to material selection reflects a growing understanding of the physical world and the ability to manipulate it to meet specific needs. The Mousterian industry also shows evidence of regional variation in tool styles and techniques. Archaeological sites across Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa have revealed different versions of the Mousterian toolkit, suggesting that early humans were adapting their tools to the specific environments they inhabited. For example, in colder northern regions, tools designed for processing animal hides and working with bone were more common, while in warmer southern regions, tools for gathering and preparing plant materials were more prevalent. This regional variation in tool styles indicates that early humans were not only innovating but also adapting their technology to the ecological challenges they faced. Neanderthals, in particular, are closely associated with the Mousterian industry. For much of their existence, Neanderthals lived in cold, glacial environments where hunting large game animals, such as mammoths and reindeer, was essential for survival. The tools they crafted, including spear points and scrapers, were highly specialized for processing animal carcasses, preparing hides for clothing, and crafting wooden tools. The ability to create and use these specialized tools gave Neanderthals a significant survival advantage, allowing them to thrive in environments that were often harsh and unforgiving. The Mousterian industry also provides insight into the social and cognitive development of Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. The complexity of Mousterian tools suggests that knowledge of toolmaking was passed down through generations, either through direct teaching or social learning. This process of cultural transmission would have required strong social bonds and effective communication within early human groups. Additionally, the specialization of tools indicates that different individuals within a group may have taken on specific roles or tasks, reflecting a division of labor that likely contributed to the efficiency and success of these early human communities. One of the most fascinating aspects of Mousterian toolmaking is its potential connection to symbolic thinking. Some archaeologists have argued that the attention to detail and the aesthetic qualities of certain Mousterian tools suggest that they may have had symbolic or ritual significance in addition to their practical uses. For example, some finely crafted tools, particularly those that are unusually large or symmetrical, may have been used in social or ceremonial contexts, possibly as status symbols or offerings. This early evidence of symbolic behavior points to the development of more complex cognitive abilities, including abstract thought and an awareness of social identity. As Homo sapiens began to emerge and spread across the globe, they also adopted and adapted Mousterian technology. In some regions, the Mousterian tradition persisted well into the Upper Paleolithic period, coexisting alongside newer tool cultures. However, as humans continue to innovate and experiment with new materials and techniques, the Mousterian industry gradually gave way to more advanced tool cultures, such as the Aurignacian and Gravettian. These later cultures would introduce new types of tools, including blades, burins, and projectile points, that reflected the growing complexity of human societies and their expanding technological capabilities. The Mousterian industry represents a crucial stage in the evolution of human technology and cognition. It was a period of significant innovation and specialization, with early humans developing more efficient, specialized tools that allowed them to adapt to a wide range of environments and challenges.
the cognitive and technical skills required to produce Mousterian tools reflect a new level of sophistication in human thought and behavior, one that would lay the groundwork for the technological and social advances that followed. As we continue our exploration of ancient tools, it is important to recognize the lasting impact of the Mousterian tradition. The tools crafted during this period not only allowed early humans to survive and thrive in their environments but also fostered the development of social structures, cultural practices, and cognitive abilities that would shape the future of human evolution. The Mousterian industry is a testament to the creativity, adaptability, and ingenuity of our ancient ancestors. As we move forward in our examination of later tool cultures, we will see how the innovations of the Mousterian period paved the way for even more sophisticated technologies and social developments. Part 6 – The Rise of Composite Tools Around 70,000 years ago, a major breakthrough occurred in human toolmaking that would dramatically change how early humans interacted with their environment and with one another. This innovation was the creation of composite tools, which combined multiple materials to form a more advanced and effective instrument. Unlike earlier tools that were primarily made from a single material, such as stone or wood, composite tools involved the careful selection and combination of different materials to enhance their functionality. The development of these tools represents a significant leap in cognitive abilities, including planning, foresight, and an understanding of material properties. Composite tools allowed early humans to become more efficient hunters, builders, and toolmakers, giving them a substantial survival advantage over other species. One of the most notable examples of composite tools is the spear. Prior to the development of composite technology, early humans used simple wooden spears, which could be effective but had limitations in terms of durability and sharpness. With the advent of composite tools, early humans began attaching sharp stone points to the ends of wooden shafts, creating a far more lethal and versatile hunting weapon. These stone-tipped spears allowed hunters to take down larger and more dangerous prey from a safer distance, significantly improving their chances of success and reducing the risks involved in close-quarter hunting. This development also enabled early humans to hunt a wider variety of animals, providing them with a more stable and diverse food supply. The process of creating a composite tool was far more complex than simply making a stone tool or wooden spear. It required early humans to not only shape the individual components but also to figure out how to join them together effectively. In many cases, this involved the use of adhesives made from natural substances such as plant resins or animal sinew. The ability to create and use adhesives represents another important cognitive advance, as it required an understanding of how different materials could be processed and combined to achieve a specific purpose. For example, early humans learned that heating plant resins could make them more malleable and adhesive, allowing them to securely bond stone to wood. This process of innovation and experimentation demonstrates the growing sophistication of human thought during this period. Composite tools were not limited to hunting implements. Early humans also developed other types of composite tools for a variety of tasks, such as woodworking, hide processing, and even toolmaking itself. For example, some composite tools were designed with handles or grips to improve leverage and control. These advancements made tasks like cutting, scraping, and grinding more efficient and less physically demanding. In turn, this allowed early humans to process materials more quickly and with greater precision, opening up new possibilities for construction, clothing production, and other forms of craftsmanship. The development of composite tools thus marked a turning point in the ability of early humans to manipulate their environment and create more sophisticated technologies. The social implications of composite tools are also significant. The creation of these tools often required cooperation and the sharing of knowledge within early human groups. The process of gathering the necessary materials, such as wood, stone, and resin, could be time-consuming and might involve traveling long distances to find the best resources. Once the materials were gathered, the construction of composite tools often required specialized skills, meaning that different individuals within a group might take on specific roles in the toolmaking process. This division of labor likely fostered social cohesion and cooperation, as individuals relied on one another to produce the tools necessary for their survival. The collaborative nature of toolmaking during this period may have also contributed to the development of more complex social structures and the formation of larger, more interconnected communities.
one of the most striking features of composite tools is their diversity. As early humans spread across the globe, they adapted their toolmaking techniques to suit the specific environments they encountered. For example, in colder regions, composite tools with bone or ivory components were developed to handle the challenges of processing animal carcasses in icy conditions. In warmer, more forested regions, tools made from a combination of wood, stone, and plant fibers were used to harvest plant materials and build shelters. This adaptability in toolmaking reflects the growing ability of early humans to tailor their technologies to their specific needs and environments. It also underscores the increasing complexity of human cognition and problem-solving during this period. The rise of composite tools also had a profound impact on early human mobility and migration. With more advanced and durable tools, early humans were better equipped to explore and settle new regions, including areas that had previously been too challenging to inhabit. For example, the use of composite hunting weapons allowed early humans to pursue large game animals into more extreme environments, such as the tundra and savanna. Similarly, the development of composite tools for construction and resource processing enabled early humans to build more durable shelters and clothing, making it possible to live in harsher climates for extended periods. This expansion into new territories not only increased the range of human populations but also facilitated the exchange of ideas, techniques, and cultural practices between different groups. The cognitive demands of creating composite tools likely played a role in the evolution of more advanced human thinking. The process of envisioning a tool, gathering the necessary materials, and assembling the components required significant planning, foresight, and problem-solving skills. Additionally, the ability to recognize and manipulate the properties of different materials reflects a growing understanding of cause and effect. These cognitive skills would have been crucial not only for toolmaking but also for other aspects of human life, such as hunting, social organization, and communication. The development of composite tools thus represents an important step in the evolution of human intelligence and creativity. The rise of composite tools also coincides with other significant developments in human culture. During this period, there is evidence of increased symbolic behavior, such as the creation of art and personal adornments. Some researchers have speculated that the cognitive skills required for creating composite tools may have also contributed to the development of abstract thought and symbolic thinking. The ability to combine different materials to create a functional tool could be seen as a precursor to the ability to combine different ideas or concepts to create meaning. This connection between toolmaking and symbolic thought highlights the broader cognitive advances that were taking place during this period of human evolution. As we continue our exploration of ancient tools, it is clear that the development of composite tools was a turning point in the history of human technology. These tools allowed early humans to become more efficient and adaptable, enabling them to thrive in a wide range of environments and to pursue more complex social and cultural goals. The rise of composite tools represents a significant leap forward in both cognitive abilities and technological sophistication, laying the groundwork for many of the advancements that would follow. As we move forward to examine later tool cultures, we will see how the innovations of this period paved the way for even more advanced technologies and social structures. Part 7. The Emergence of Art and Symbolism Around 40,000 years ago, during the Upper Paleolithic period, a major shift occurred in human behavior that went beyond the purely practical use of tools. This period marks the emergence of art and symbolism, a defining characteristic of modern Homo sapiens. Early humans began to create objects and images that served not just a functional purpose, but also had symbolic, spiritual, or cultural significance. These early works of art and symbolism reflect the development of abstract thinking and the ability to represent ideas and emotions through visual and symbolic forms. The connection between tools, art, and culture reveals the growing complexity of human cognition and social structures during this period. The emergence of art is one of the most striking features of this time. Cave paintings, carvings, and personal ornaments are found at archaeological sites across Europe, Africa, and Asia. These works of art often depict animals, humans, and geometric shapes, suggesting that early humans were not only concerned with survival but also with expressing themselves and their place in the world. The famous cave paintings of Lascaux in France and Altamira in Spain, for example, feature detailed and vivid depictions of animals such as horses, bison, and deer. 
these images were often painted in hidden or hard-to-reach areas of caves, indicating that they may have had a ritual or spiritual significance. The creation of these works of art required the use of tools, Early humans used pigments made from natural materials, such as ochre, charcoal, and manganese, which were applied to cave walls using brushes made from animal hair or feathers, or even by blowing the pigment through hollow bones. The use of these tools to create art demonstrates a high level of technical skill and cognitive ability. The ability to represent the natural world through images, and to use tools to do so, indicates that early humans were capable of abstract thinking and symbolic communication. This development marks a significant step in the evolution of human culture and creativity. In addition to cave paintings, early humans also created small, portable objects of art. The famous Venus figurines, found at sites across Europe, are some of the earliest known examples of figurative sculpture. These small statues, often depicting female figures with exaggerated physical features, may have had symbolic meanings related to fertility, beauty, or spirituality. The creation of these figurines required careful craftsmanship, as they were often carved from stone, bone, or ivory using tools specifically designed for this purpose. The attention to detail in these sculptures suggests that early humans were developing not only technical skills but also a sense of aesthetics and symbolic meaning. The use of symbolism extended beyond visual art to other aspects of early human culture. Personal ornaments, such as beads, pendants, and necklaces, were often made from materials like bone, shell, and teeth. These items were not only decorative but likely served as symbols of identity, status, or group affiliation. The act of creating and wearing personal ornaments reflects a growing awareness of social identity and the desire to communicate that identity to others. This form of symbolic expression would have played an important role in the formation of social bonds and the development of more complex social structures, Symbolism also played a role in the way early humans used tools. Some tools from this period show signs of decoration or embellishment that go beyond mere functionality. For example, engraved patterns have been found on bone tools, suggesting that early humans were imbuing their tools with symbolic or aesthetic qualities. The act of decorating a tool indicates that early humans were beginning to see their tools not just as functional objects but as extensions of their identity and culture. This shift in the perception of tools reflects a broader trend toward the use of objects as symbols of social and cultural meaning. The emergence of art and symbolism during the Upper Paleolithic also suggests that early humans were developing more complex belief systems. The creation of images and objects with symbolic meanings may have been linked to spiritual or religious practices. Some researchers have speculated that the cave paintings and figurines found at archaeological sites were used in rituals or ceremonies intended to communicate with the spiritual world or to ensure successful hunts. The use of tools to create these symbolic objects may have been seen as a way to harness the power of the natural world and to assert control over one's environment. In addition to visual art, early humans also likely used music and dance as forms of symbolic expression. Archaeologists have uncovered flutes made from bird bones at sites in Europe, suggesting that early humans were creating and playing musical instruments. The use of music as a form of symbolic communication would have added another layer of complexity to early human culture. Music, like visual art, can be a powerful means of expressing emotion, identity, and social bonds. The creation of musical instruments, much like the creation of art, required the use of tools and technical skill, further demonstrating the deep connection between tools and symbolic behavior in early human societies. The emergence of art and symbolism also had implications for the development of language. The ability to create and understand symbols is closely related to the cognitive processes involved in language. Both art and language rely on the use of abstract symbols to convey meaning, whether through images, sounds, or words. The creation of symbolic art may have helped to lay the foundation for the development of more complex forms of communication, including spoken language. The ability to share ideas, emotions, and cultural knowledge through symbols would have been a crucial step in the development of human societies and the transmission of culture across generations. The rise of art and symbolism also coincided with the development of more advanced tool cultures. As early humans began to create more complex and specialized tools, they also developed the cognitive skills necessary to produce symbolic objects. The connection between tools and symbolic behavior reflects the broader cognitive advances that were taking place during this period. 
early humans were not only learning to manipulate their environment more effectively through the use of tools but also learning to represent their experiences, beliefs, and identities through symbolic objects and images. This development marks a key moment in the evolution of human culture and creativity. The emergence of art and symbolism during the Upper Paleolithic represents a major turning point in human history. It marks the beginning of a new phase of human culture, one in which tools, objects, and images were used not just for survival but for communication, expression, and social cohesion. The development of symbolic thinking allowed early humans to create more complex social structures, transmit cultural knowledge across generations, and form a shared sense of identity and purpose. As we continue to explore the role of tools in early human history, we will see how the emergence of art and symbolism set the stage for even greater technological and cultural advancements. The ability to create and use symbols is one of the defining characteristics of modern humans, and its roots lie in the tools and objects crafted by our ancestors thousands of years ago. Part 8 – The Agricultural Revolution and Tool Innovation The Agricultural Revolution, which began around 12,000 years ago, represents one of the most significant transformations in human history. Prior to this period, human societies were primarily nomadic, relying on hunting, gathering, and foraging to sustain themselves. However, the development of agriculture fundamentally changed the way humans interacted with their environment, leading to the establishment of permanent settlements, the domestication of plants and animals, and the rise of complex societies. This shift from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to an agricultural one was accompanied by a series of innovations in tools and technologies that made farming, harvesting, and food production more efficient. These new tools not only transformed the way people lived but also laid the foundation for the development of modern civilizations. One of the earliest and most important agricultural tools developed during this period was the digging stick. This simple yet effective tool allowed early farmers to break up the soil, plant seeds, and cultivate crops. The digging stick was typically made from wood, with one end sharpened to make it easier to penetrate the ground. While rudimentary, it was an essential tool for early farmers, enabling them to grow crops such as wheat, barley, and millet. Over time, the design of the digging stick evolved, and early humans began to attach stone or bone tips to the end of the stick to improve its effectiveness. This marked one of the earliest examples of humans adapting existing technologies to meet the demands of a new way of life. As agricultural practices became more widespread, so too did the need for more advanced tools. The development of the plow was a major technological breakthrough that allowed early farmers to cultivate larger areas of land more efficiently. Early plows, known as ord plows, were simple implements made from wood and were pulled by humans or animals. They were designed to break up the soil and create furrows for planting seeds. The introduction of domesticated animals, such as oxen and cattle, to pull the plow made it possible to cultivate even larger areas of land increasing food production and supporting the growth of larger populations. The plow became a symbol of the agricultural revolution, representing the shift from small-scale subsistence farming to more organized, intensive agricultural practices. The development of tools for harvesting crops was also essential to the success of early agricultural societies. The sickle, a curved blade used to cut grain and other crops, became a staple tool for farmers. Early sickles were made from stone, with sharp edges napped to create a serrated surface. These stone sickles were highly effective for cutting through tough stalks of wheat and barley, and they allowed farmers to harvest their crops more efficiently than they could with their bare hands. Over time, the sickle evolved, and by the Bronze Age, metal sickles made from bronze and later iron replaced the earlier stone versions. The use of metal tools not only made harvesting easier but also increased the durability and effectiveness of the tools themselves. Another important tool innovation during the agricultural revolution was the grinding stone. Early humans had long used stones to grind and process food, but with the rise of agriculture, grinding stones became even more essential for processing harvested grains. These stones were used to grind wheat, barley, and other cereals into flour, which could then be used to make bread and other staple foods. The ability to process large quantities of grain efficiently was crucial for the development of surplus food stores which in turn supported population growth and the rise of more complex societies. 
Grinding stones became a common feature of early agricultural settlements, and their widespread use reflects the importance of food processing technologies in the development of early civilizations. The agricultural revolution also saw the development of tools for storing and preserving food. Early humans had to find ways to store surplus crops for use during times of scarcity, such as during the winter months or in times of drought. Clay pottery and woven baskets became important tools for food storage. These containers allowed early farmers to store grain, dried fruits, and other preserved foods in a way that protected them from pests and moisture. The ability to store surplus food was a key factor in the growth of early agricultural societies, as it allowed them to support larger, more stable populations. Pottery and storage vessels also played an important role in trade, as surplus food could be exchanged for other goods or resources. The rise of metallurgy during the agricultural revolution brought about even more significant advances in toolmaking. Around 3300 BCE, the Bronze Age began, ushering in a new era of tool and weapon production. Bronze tools, made from an alloy of copper and tin, were stronger and more durable than their stone predecessors. This allowed early farmers to create more effective tools for plowing, harvesting, and processing food. Bronze axes, chisels, and hammers were used for woodworking and construction, while bronze knives and sickles made agricultural tasks easier and more efficient. The development of bronze tools marked a major leap forward in human technology, providing early civilizations with the tools they needed to build more complex societies and engage in large-scale agriculture. The transition from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, around 1200 BCE, further revolutionized toolmaking. Iron tools were even stronger and more versatile than bronze tools, allowing for more efficient farming and construction practices. Iron plows, for example, could cut deeper into the soil, making it possible to cultivate harder, more arid land that had previously been unsuitable for farming. The widespread use of iron tools helped to support the growth of early empires and city-states, as increased food production allowed for larger, more organized societies. The development of ironworking also had important military implications, as iron weapons gave early civilizations a significant advantage in warfare. The agricultural revolution not only transformed the way humans produced food but also had profound effects on social and economic structures. As food production became more efficient, early humans were able to produce surplus food, which supported population growth and the development of larger, more complex societies. These surplus resources allowed for the specialization of labor, with some individuals focusing on farming while others took on roles as craftsmen, traders, or political leaders. The ability to produce and store surplus food also facilitated the development of trade networks, as agricultural societies began exchanging goods and resources with one another. These trade networks helped to spread new technologies, including advanced tools and agricultural techniques, across regions and cultures. The innovations in toolmaking that accompanied the agricultural revolution were critical to the success of early civilizations. The development of specialized tools for farming, harvesting, food processing, and storage allowed early humans to transition from a nomadic, subsistence lifestyle to one centered around permanent settlements and large-scale agriculture. These tools not only made farming more efficient but also supported the growth of social and political institutions that would form the foundation of modern civilizations. The agricultural revolution represents a key turning point in human history, and the tools that emerged during this period played a crucial role in shaping the trajectory of human development. As we continue to explore the history of ancient tools, we see how the innovations of the agricultural revolution laid the groundwork for the rise of cities, empires, and complex societies. The tools that early humans developed to cultivate the land, harvest crops, and process food were instrumental in the creation of the modern world. Without these technological advances, the large, interconnected civilizations that define human history would not have been possible. The agricultural revolution and its associated tools mark a defining moment in the evolution of human technology, one that continues to influence our lives today. Part 9, Metal Tools and the Birth of Civilization The introduction of metal tools marks one of the most profound transformations in human history, playing a critical role in the birth and development of ancient civilizations. The shift from stone to metal tools during the Bronze and Iron Ages fundamentally changed how humans approached agriculture, construction, warfare, and daily life. 
the mastery of metallurgy gave early societies the ability to create stronger, more durable tools, which in turn allowed them to cultivate larger tracts of land, build monumental structures, and wage more effective wars. Metal tools not only facilitated the growth of early civilizations but also set the stage for the rise of empires, trade networks, and technological innovation on a grand scale. The Bronze Age, which began around 3300 BCE, represents the first widespread use of metal tools and weapons. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, proved to be much stronger and more versatile than the stone tools that preceded it. With bronze, early humans could create sharper and more durable plows, sickles, axes, and other implements that were crucial for large-scale agriculture. This technological leap made farming more efficient and productive, allowing early societies to feed larger populations. The surplus food generated by this increased productivity fueled the growth of cities and allowed for the specialization of labor, a key feature of civilization. As some individuals became farmers, others could focus on tasks such as metalworking, pottery, and trade. Bronze tools were also essential for construction, enabling early humans to cut and shape wood and stone with greater precision and efficiency. The monumental architecture of early civilizations, from the pyramids of Egypt to the ziggurats of Mesopotamia, was made possible in part by the strength and versatility of bronze tools. Bronze chisels, hammers, and saws allowed workers to carve and manipulate large stone blocks and timber, facilitating the construction of massive structures that served as both religious and administrative centers. The rise of complex, organized societies during the Bronze Age can be directly linked to the development and widespread use of metal tools, which gave early humans the means to build more permanent and sophisticated infrastructure. In addition to transforming agriculture and construction, bronze tools and weapons had a profound impact on warfare. Bronze swords, spears, and shields gave early armies a significant advantage in battle, as they were far more effective than the stone weapons used by previous generations. The ability to wage war more effectively helped to shape the political landscape of the ancient world, as city-states and kingdoms expanded their territories through military conquest. The development of bronze weapons also led to the rise of a warrior class, with individuals trained specifically in the use of these new tools of war. Warfare became more organized and strategic, with armies equipped with standardized weapons and armor made from bronze. The transition from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, around 1200 BCE, represents another significant leap in toolmaking and technology. Iron, which was both more abundant and stronger than bronze, revolutionized many aspects of human life. The process of smelting iron was more complex and required higher temperatures than bronze production, but once mastered, Ironworking allowed early societies to produce tools and weapons that were both more durable and more effective. Iron plows, for example, could penetrate harder soils, making it possible to farm land that had previously been unsuitable for cultivation. This led to an expansion of agricultural production, further supporting population growth and the rise of large, organized civilizations. Iron tools were also critical for construction, as they allowed for the creation of stronger and more complex buildings. The use of iron chisels, hammers, and saws made it possible to cut and shape stone and wood with greater precision, facilitating the construction of more elaborate and durable structures. The temples, palaces, and fortifications of ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Assyria, and Greece were made possible in part by the widespread availability of iron tools. Iron also played a key role in the development of infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, which facilitated trade and communication between different regions. The widespread use of iron weapons also transformed warfare during the Iron Age. Iron swords, spears, and armor gave armies a significant advantage in battle, leading to the rise of powerful empires that could expand their territories through military conquest. The Assyrians, for example, were known for their use of iron weapons and armor which helped them to establish one of the most formidable empires of the ancient world. The development of iron weapons also led to changes in military tactics and organization, as armies became larger and more professionalized. Iron tools and weapons not only shaped the outcome of individual battles but also influenced the broader political landscape of the ancient world. One of the most significant impacts of the development of metal tools was the rise of trade networks. The production of bronze and iron required access to specific raw materials, such as copper, tin, and iron ore. 
these materials were not always readily available in all regions, which led to the establishment of long-distance trade routes that connected different civilizations. For example, the Bronze Age saw the development of extensive trade networks between the civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Indus Valley, as they exchanged not only raw materials but also finished goods, technologies, and ideas. The trade in metal tools and weapons helped to foster cultural exchange and the spread of technological innovations across regions, contributing to the rise of interconnected, cosmopolitan societies. The rise of metal tools also had a profound impact on the development of writing and record-keeping. As early civilizations grew more complex, the need to manage agricultural production, trade, and taxation became increasingly important. The ability to produce durable writing materials, such as clay tablets and papyrus, allowed early humans to keep detailed records of transactions, inventories, and laws. Metal tools were essential for inscribing these records, whether by carving cuneiform into clay tablets or chiseling hieroglyphs into stone monuments. The development of writing systems, which allowed for the transmission of knowledge and the administration of complex societies, was closely tied to the rise of metal tools and the technological advances they made possible. The connection between metal tools and social organization is evident in the hierarchical structures that emerged during the Bronze and Iron Ages. The ability to control the production and distribution of metal tools and weapons often gave certain individuals or groups a significant amount of power. Metal workers, for example, were highly valued members of society, as their skills were essential for the production of tools that supported agriculture, construction, and warfare. Similarly, rulers and elites often controlled access to metal resources and used this control to consolidate their political power. The rise of metal tools thus played a key role in the development of social stratification and the emergence of centralized states. The Bronze and Iron Ages represent a turning point in the history of human technology and civilization. The development of metal tools allowed early humans to manipulate their environment in ways that had previously been impossible, leading to the rise of agriculture, construction, and warfare on an unprecedented scale. These tools not only facilitated the growth of early civilizations but also set the stage for the technological innovations that would define the ancient and classical worlds. The ability to produce stronger, more durable tools and weapons gave early humans the means to build larger, more complex societies and to engage in long-distance trade and cultural exchange. The development of metal tools marks the beginning of a new era in human history, one in which technology and civilization became increasingly intertwined. As we move forward in our exploration of ancient tools, we will see how the innovations of the Bronze and Iron Ages laid the foundation for the rise of even more advanced technologies and social structures. The tools developed during this period not only transformed the way people lived but also shaped the course of human history. Metal tools were at the heart of this transformation, providing early humans with the means to build, farm, and fight in ways that had never been possible before. As we continue to explore the legacy of ancient tools, we will see how the technological advances of this period influence the development of the modern world. Part 10. The Legacy of Ancient Tools in Modern Life The tools developed by early humans were not just essential for survival, they laid the foundation for the technological advancements that define modern civilization. While the tools used today are vastly more complex and sophisticated than those crafted by our ancient ancestors, they are the direct descendants of the simple implements that early humans used to hunt, gather, build, and create. The legacy of ancient tools can be seen in every aspect of modern life, from agriculture and construction to communication and transportation. Understanding how these ancient tools shaped human history helps us appreciate the profound impact that technology has had, and continues to have, on the development of human societies. The earliest stone tools, such as those from the Oldoan and Acheulean traditions, represent the first steps in a long journey of technological innovation. These simple tools allowed early humans to manipulate their environment in ways that no other species could, providing them with access to new food sources and enabling them to adapt to a wide range of environments. This adaptability is a key characteristic of humanity, and it is a trait that has been reinforced and enhanced by the development of increasingly sophisticated tools. The ability to modify natural materials to create tools that meet specific needs is a skill that has been passed down through generations, evolving over time but always rooted in the ingenuity of our earliest ancestors. 
In modern agriculture, we see the direct legacy of the tools developed during the agricultural revolution. The plow, which was one of the earliest innovations in farming, remains a fundamental tool in agriculture today, albeit in a much more advanced form. Modern tractors and plows are powered by engines and are capable of cultivating vast areas of land in a fraction of the time it took early farmers using wooden or iron tools. The sickle, once a simple stone or metal blade used for harvesting crops, has evolved into mechanized harvesters that can cut, thresh, and bundle grain in a single pass. These advancements in agricultural tools have allowed humans to produce enough food to support the world's growing population, ensuring the stability and development of complex societies. The construction industry also owes much to the legacy of ancient tools. The stone chisels, hammers, and saws used by early builders to create monumental structures such as the pyramids of Egypt or the temples of Mesopotamia were the precursors to modern construction tools and machinery. Today's cranes, bulldozers, and power tools are far more powerful and efficient, but they are based on the same principles of leverage, force, and precision that early humans used to shape stone and wood. The development of metal tools during the Bronze and Iron Ages laid the groundwork for the construction of more complex buildings, roads, and bridges, enabling the rise of cities and empires. This tradition of innovation in construction tools has continued into the present day with modern tools allowing us to build skyscrapers, tunnels, and massive infrastructure projects that shape the world we live in. In the realm of communication, the legacy of ancient tools is equally profound. The development of writing systems, which was closely tied to the use of tools such as styluses and chisels for inscribing symbols onto clay tablets, stone, and papyrus, represents one of the most significant advancements in human history. Writing allowed early civilizations to record information, keep track of trade and agriculture, and preserve laws and stories for future generations. This ability to transmit knowledge across time and space was a crucial factor in the development of more complex societies. Today, we use digital tools like computers, smartphones, and the internet to communicate on a global scale, but these modern technologies are built upon the same foundation of written communication that was first laid by early humans with their simple tools. Transportation is another area where the legacy of ancient tools is evident. The invention of the wheel, one of the most important technological breakthroughs in human history, was made possible by the use of tools to shape wood and other materials. The wheel allowed early humans to move goods and people more efficiently, facilitating trade and the exchange of ideas between different regions. Modern transportation technologies, from cars and trains to airplanes and spacecraft, are direct descendants of this ancient invention. The tools used to create and maintain these modern vehicles are far more advanced than the stone tools of our ancestors, but they are part of the same tradition of innovation that has driven human progress for millennia. The development of metalworking during the Bronze and Iron Ages also had a lasting impact on modern industry. The ability to smelt and shape metal allowed early humans to create stronger and more durable tools, weapons, and structures. This technological advancement paved the way for the development of modern machinery, factories, and industrial processes. Today, metalworking is at the heart of many industries, from construction and manufacturing to aerospace and automotive engineering. The tools and techniques developed by early metalworkers continue to influence the way we produce goods and build the infrastructure that supports modern society. One of the most significant legacies of ancient tools is the way they shaped human cognition and social behavior. The process of creating tools required early humans to develop new ways of thinking, including problem-solving, planning, and cooperation. These cognitive skills were crucial for the survival of early humans, and they continue to play a central role in modern life. The ability to design and use tools is one of the defining characteristics of the human species, and it has been a driving force behind our success as a species. In many ways, the development of tools can be seen as the foundation of human culture, as it allowed early humans to manipulate their environment, communicate with one another, and pass down knowledge through generations. In modern times, the rapid pace of technological innovation has transformed the way we use tools. The rise of digital technologies, artificial intelligence, and robotics has revolutionized industries such as healthcare, manufacturing, and education. These modern tools allow us to solve complex problems, automate tasks, and create new forms of communication and collaboration. However, despite the incredible advancements in technology, 
the fundamental principles of tool use remain the same. Whether it's a stone hand axe used by early humans or a robotic arm used in modern surgery, tools are extensions of our ability to manipulate the world around us. They allow us to achieve tasks that would be impossible with our bodies alone, and they enable us to shape the future of human society. As we reflect on the legacy of ancient tools, it is clear that they have played a central role in shaping human history. From the earliest stone tools used by Homo habili to the digital tools we use today, the evolution of toolmaking has been a key factor in the development of human civilization. Each new innovation built upon the last, driving human progress and opening up new possibilities for exploration, communication, and creation. The tools we use today are the product of millions of years of experimentation, adaptation, and ingenuity, and they continue to shape the course of human history. The legacy of ancient tools is not just about the physical objects themselves, but about the cognitive and cultural advancements they represent. The process of toolmaking fostered cooperation, communication, and creativity among early humans, laying the foundation for the development of language, art, and social structures. As we look to the future, the tools we create will continue to define who we are as a species and how we interact with the world around us. The story of human evolution is, in many ways, the story of our tools, and the legacy of ancient tools will continue to influence the path of human progress for generations to come. The impact of ancient tools is still felt in every aspect of modern life. They not only shaped the way we live today but also provided the blueprint for future innovations. The evolution of tools has been a central driving force in human history, and as we continue to create new technologies, we are building on the legacy of our ancestors. From the first stone tools to the cutting-edge technologies of the 21st century, tools have always been at the heart of human progress, and they will continue to be so in the future. Thanks for joining us on this journey through history here at History Forge. If you enjoyed today's exploration, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on future episodes. Together, let's continue uncovering the past to better understand our present and shape a brighter future. See you next time.